Hello everyone, I've got a Walgreens candy deal for you, some Kroger coupon deals for you, and a few things that I got from Aldi today. I'll go through the prices and I'll let you know how I got these deals. As always, if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Desiree. I do a lot of grocery hauls, mom stuff, and coupon deals. Um, so if you like these videos, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know that I love you very, very much. And so, yeah, let's just get this started. If you have any questions about couponing in general, just let me know below. Or if you just want to say hi, I just love hearing from you all. So let's start off here with Walgreens. This is the only thing I got. It was our favorite Halloween candy. Here in, here in um, Fayette County, Kentucky, we are doing trick-or-treat it's been okayed by the mayor um with a few differences like this year they're requesting we use masks and instead of um contact trick-or-treating you know it, we i usually just throw it in a bowl because i take my son trick-or-treating ourselves but um they're asking us to like put it in almost like goodie bags so that a kid can just grab and go so i'm gonna do that because trick-or-treating with my family with my son is really something we look forward to. So we're just going to abide by those rules and do it. So yeah, we bought our favorite Reese's pumpkin shaped candies. Yay. We'll probably keep two for us and then put the other two in some goodie bags. But anyway, so the deal for Walgreens this week going through Saturday. What, what day is Saturday? The 17th, I believe. Um, it is... $1.99 for the snack size Reese's, so like including the regular cups, but the everyone knows basically if you're a fan of Reese's that the shapes are better. <laughs> so um, yeah, these are $1.99 each, but if you check your Walgreens um, coupons on like your digital coupons, you will find a Hershey's $2 off, well, no, a Hershey's $1 off two bags. And there was two of them on mine. One expires um, this Saturday, the 17th, and one on Halloween. So I just went ahead and got all four, making these $6 and plus tax. So yeah, I thought that was a great deal. And even the cashier ringing me up first thing Sunday morning was like, wow, that's a good deal. I need to go do that myself. So yeah, $6 for four bags of Reese's. Very happy with that. Moving on to Kroger. So... If you're new to couponing, this is this is the whole recipe, okay? <laughs> you get coupons, either paper from a newspaper, printed, or digital coupons, which honestly is what I've been doing the past few years. I haven't really been using paper coupons with the exception of if they're mailed to me, which, um, yeah, that's, it's just easier to keep track of in my opinion. Um, if you have any questions of that, just let me know below. But yeah, let's just go through these and I'm already noticing that I'm missing two things. Hold on, okay? So as I was editing this video, like I was trying to put the first part when I did the Walgreens to the Kroger. Anyways, when I went and got the refrigerated things out, I forgot to tell you my whole recipe to couponing. So what you do is you get your coupons together, either digital or paper, and then you find um, an eligible product that is the cheapest price. So like with the feminine feminine products there was ones that were like more like $2.99 $3.99 $4.99 $4.99 and um yeah these were $1.99 so you want to get the lowest price com combined with the coupon combined with the sale price and like this is a mega deals um co mega deals week um combined with if possible a Ibotta or a digital coupon because those you can put together. So yeah, that's the recipe. Sale product, smallest item or cheapest item, um, paper or digital coupon, and then mobile coupon. So yeah, that's how it's done. If you need me to explain a little better, please let me know below. Okay, now on to the reappearing products on the table. <laughs> and just like that, there's a couple more things I added to the table because I forgot they were still in my fridge. So Kroger this week and next week, they'll be doing a buy five or more, save five dollar deal. Um, they're my, buy four, buy five, sorry, buy five, save five deal. Um, they changed it where it used to be you have to do it in increments of five, 
but now it's five or more. A lot of times, sometimes I would have seven things I wanted to get, but I needed to get three more as a filler. So I, I do appreciate that they changed that um, for the better for the customers, I believe. So um, they're kind of mixed. So I'll just go through what, how I got these deals, okay? So this wasn't any deal at all. Oh, and I'm still missing something. <laughs> So this is $2.99. I get it every time. I like it because um, this single cut leaf lettuce lasts longer. I was going to get the romaine, but this green leaf one had a better date. So I got that one. I just find that this washed packed lettuce, even though it's more plastic, um, just lasts better in my fridge. And I chop it up if I want to make like shredded lettuce for tacos or put it on a sandwich or a burger. And I found that when I buy it like this, I eat it versus if I get a pack from Costco or, or even like the regular stocks of um, lettuce, I let it go to waste a lot more often because having to wash it and prep it and all that. So if it makes me eat more greens, I'm going to just pay it. And even though it's a less amount, it's, it's just better to me. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it, right. So what also is missing that's in my fridge <laughs> is a pear. I got um, an organic bosque bos pear? No, or maybe it was a Bartlett pear. I don't know. It was one of those pears, and that was a saving star, 25 cents off. They're bringing back the produce um, coupons on saving star. It is a app, and if you have any questions about that, just let me know below. But really just go in your app store and find saving star, and there's a bunch of coupons on there. I really don't use that one too much because there's just not very many deals that I get off of there. I mostly use Checkout 51, which um, those two kind of go together. So a lot of times if you get it off your Checkout 51, you can't redeem it on Saving Star. So anyways, um, yeah, a pair is missing, and that ended up being 50 cents after the 25 cents coupon. Um, Campari tomatoes were $2.49 today. I was going to get like the bigger beefsteak ones, but they just didn't look good. We're, I guess we're getting into the fall season where just tomatoes aren't in season. So these look better. I like Campari tomatoes anyways. We still slice them up and eat them the same as on a burger and stuff. It's just you got a few little tomatoes. Slice the tomato. This is a Fetch Rewards um, freebie. It's through November 3rd, I believe. But these Nor Selects, it has to be the Selects one. Um, so I got though I don't know how to say that <laughs> pasta with marinara sauce um, and there's also one that's almost like um, a creamy sauce with spinach I believe um, but yeah this was $1.99 in the store so you paid that out of pocket but when you scan your receipt on Fetch Rewards you'll get 199 points meat which is about two dollars so yeah if you're also new to Fetch Rewards I'll try to remember to link my um, link below and you'll get two dollars I believe and I might get two dollars I something like that <laughs> as you can see I wasn't completely prepared today just threw everything on the table and said okay I'm just gonna record this and put it away um but yeah made it completely free this was in the I want to say it was in the rice aisle I had a hard time finding it but if you ever have a hard time finding products like especially brand specific ones for like couponing purposes make sure you get your Kroger um add not add your Kroger app up on your phone when you're in store and it, um like you put in Kro nor selects and it'll tell you the aisle so that's really helpful I wish all stores did that and they were correct this was a mailed coupon to me it was any Sargento um, brand sliced cheese so I got this Colby pepper jack it sounds really good it has jalapeno and habanero peppers in it which my husband will be really happy and I actually like spicy cheeses as well I did buy a spicy cheese, I think it was a habanero cheddar or something from Aldi a few months ago. It was good, but my Aldi cheese just goes bad really fast. It got moldy, like seriously too fast. So yeah, that's the bottom half. Let's see here. We will get, okay, this is the buy five or more, save a dollar off each thing. So I'll start over here. These are, oops. Gluten-free, just add water and microwave um, little cakes, I guess. Um, they're only two ounces, but they were 99 cents each after the $1 off. Plus, there was a dollar off to Kroger Cashback, which you can find that in the, under the coupons or under the savings 
section on your Kroger app. Um, you just have to scroll down past the coupons and there'll be Kroger cash back as well. They're kind of two separate, um, two separate, not logins, because it's the same login. They're just two separate things. So you have coupons that come off instantly when you coupon. And then there's these where you get cash back. So you get it like a few days later. And then from the cash back, you can either send it back to your card and use as like a coupon for your next uh, grocery shopping trip. Or you can save it until it gets to $20 balance and uh, you can send it to your PayPal as cash. So I usually just do it as a coupon and it'll save me for my next shopping trip. So anyways, these were 99 cents each, but with a $1 off two on Kroger cash back plus a $1 off two on Ibotta made these free. And you know, if it's free, it's for me. Um, these two toothpaste, um, if you are a couponer, you know that you never ever have to pay for toothpaste. You can almost always get a free deal sometime soon. <laughs> so I got these two. They were $1.99 each because of the $1 off each uh, for the mega sale. So $1.99 each. Plus, there was a $4 off two um, Colgate toothpaste. So made them free. Next thing are the feminine products. So there was actually two coupons. There was a $1.50 off one and a $3 off two. So, you know, $1.50 off each. So after the $1 off, yeah, I'm just going to say it like that. I could say the whole regular price. Um, after the $1 off, because I bought more than five, it was $1.99. So minus $1.50 makes them $0.50 cents each. And I really like this product. I got it for either $0.50 cents or free a few months ago. And this part, if you need to buy stuff like this, <laughs> it's true. It's, it's a lot less irritation than other products. So I like that. Um, yeah, so $0.50 cents each there and tampons these were $2.99 after the one dollar off and there was also a two dollars off playtex brand um tampons making them 99 cents now this one i did find that it that coupon wasn't for all of them because a lot of them are um even for the carefree you just have to be careful what i do is it takes a little bit of time in the store which is why i understand why people feel that they don't have the time to coupon because it is a little more time consuming but I go and I make sure, I click on the coupon and I make sure that this product is like listed under it, that it's um, eligible. So yeah, this one is, so I made it 99 cents. Moving on to food items. This Thomas um, English muffins, I got the 100 calorie light multigrain. They also, whoops, there goes my chips. Um, they, oh, and I'm crushing them. These are $1.99. They also had a pumpkin spice one that I usually buy every year because I love them. But I already have so much pumpkin things from Trader Joe's <laughs> that I decided to go with this one so I can make breakfast sandwiches. Um, plus, there was a $0.75 cents off Thomas English or, or Thomas brand English muffins, I believe. It was just the English muffins. But um, or it could have been the product. Just just check your check your apps because some people also get different coupons. So um, yeah, 75 cents off, making them 125. So, and I really like Thomas brand English muffins. Another brand I really like is, I'm gonna keep knocking my chips over, <laughs> is Dave's Killer Bread. I do like this one. Um, this one was three, $3.49 after the $1 off. And I had a $1, $1.50 off Kroger cash back that I redeemed, as well as a $1.50 off on Ibotta. Making, that, making it 50 cents, which is really cheap for this bread because this bread isn't cheap. I like it because of the pro, um, the ingredients and it's organic and, you know, all the things there. Omega-3s, fiber, whole grains, yay. Make sure you um, bring up your Ibotta app as well and scan the product itself. Um, a lot of times I will buy something by accident and it didn't count because of the size. Whoops. Um, I scanned a different one and it was like 21 ounces, so it didn't count. So I had to find one a little heavier. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got this one. So I did this already. And the last item that was part of the buy five or more mega deal was the Fairy Life milk. I cannot get that to stand up. You 
you can see all my son's uh, school lunch breakfast back there. Um, Fair Life Milk was two forty nine. These were pretty much wiped out. So and it is a really good deal. It's like three twenty nine, I think, at Walmart regular price. So well, I mean Walmart. So uh, two forty nine is really cheap for Fair Life. It is my favorite milk. It's not organic, but it is lactose free, so my husband can have it. Um, well, my son can have it if he runs out of his milk. Um, the dates are really good, so there it's good till January 2021 because it's um, ultra filtered, um, and there's also less sugar. Yeah, yeah, it says right there, 50% less sugar. And if you're craving chocolate milk, I like Fair Life's chocolate milk because it's like half of the sugar that a regular store bought chocolate milk is. So yeah, I think that was everything. So this was just over twenty dollars for this little kroger section if i oh and i almost forgot the chips that kept falling over haha ha. so i got these two simply chips there was a one dollar off each up to three um what brand is this is it lays or let me look i don't want to say the wrong brand <laughs> it just says simply xl okay so yeah these it says on the bag it's normally $3.99, which I would never pay for chips, no matter how good they are. Um, they were $2.99 on the shelf, and then there's a $1 off, um, up to three Simply Chips um, coupon. So I got the Cheeto Puffs and the Blue Corn tos Tostitos. Um, so they're $1.99 each. The reason why I bought this was because um, Costco was out of the Annie's Organic cheese puffs that we all love so hopefully that will help and I also got something from Aldi too so we'll see which one we like better and then we'll just stick to that until I find Annie's again and there goes my chips <laughs> so yeah that was just over 20 yeah if you're new to my channel I'm a mess just to let you know <laughs> so this is a few things I got from Aldi what's not on the table because I didn't feel like getting it out with six dozen eggs they were 54 cents each um yeah, so this is what I got from Aldi. I just try to pull out the things that um, I don't usually get. I haven't had to buy, um, where are these, the, compared to hefty bags, any of these like uh, freezer bags for a long time because years ago there was a really good coupon. It was a printed coupon actually for um, hefty bags, making them like 50 cents. And I had, I had them for two years. And I finally opened my last box this week, and I'm really sad. <laughs> but um, so anyways, I had to buy some because I do use these. Um, I use them if there's like something in it that I can reuse it. I do that. But if not, you know, I have to just toss it. Do you wash your bags? Let me know below if you do. I'm thinking about it <laughs> now that I have to actually buy them. So these were $1.69 each. I got the... Quart size, um, quart size, where does it say? Okay, so that's just a storage and then freezer. Um, every time it says freezer, it is, um, you get less because it's thicker, I guess, quality, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, my son wanted to try these Simply Nature sweet potato bites, probably because of the shapes. <laughs> these are 349, and these are, I believe, like the Dr. Prager, is that his name? Yeah, I think that's his name. If I'm wrong, let me know below. But he likes things like this. He, there's a sweet potato puff that comes to Costco every now and then that he loves, but it's just such a big amount, and my husband and I aren't the biggest fans, and he loves them, so um, I just want to try these out on him. If he likes it, um, I'll let you know below if you ask me. <laughs> um, so three forty nine for that. It's a little box, but... And I, it says microwave, toaster, oven, skillet, fun shapes, yay. Oh, there's the nutrition facts. It looks pretty good, good ingredients. A little bit of sugar, but it's sweet potatoes. Oops, compared to a lot of kids' stuff anyways. So this is for me. <laughs> this was two eighty nine for pumpkin spice whip topping. Um, Kroger had like regular ready whip for one eighty nine. So I probably should have bought that price wise but I like anything pumpkin spice and it's my birthday month so got that for me um I've been liking it on my coffee as a treat haha -ha. 
So for lasagna, which I have a really good lasagna recipe. So if you want to know that, let me know below. It's really cheap and really easy. I believe um, if you look up like lazy lasagna or something on Pinterest, that's basically my recipe. But um, it was $169 for ricotta cheese, which it said like um, Aldi limited time item, but I think they have it all year long. I don't know. Maybe I should have bought another one, but $169. Um, and the noodles I use are the no bake, no, no boil um, lasagna noodles from Dollar Tree. That's what makes it so cheap and so easy. Um, what? $1.99 for white cheddar puffs. I like these. I like them better than Pirate's Booty, if you ask me. Um, yeah, $1.99 for that. And plantain chips, I believe, were also $1.99. My son wanted to try those, too. And I said, sure, because... Who made in the USA? Cool. Because, look, there's zero sugar. I mean, it's fat. It's, it's a chip. It's, it's a plantain fried in oil. But just for him to try something a little different. This was also $1.99. This was shredded Parmesan cheese. Um, I have bought Parmesan cheese in the big container at Costco. We just haven't, we just don't go through it fast enough. Um, I just like, like the shredded real stuff versus the shaky stuff. <laughs> I do buy the shaky stuff too sometimes. So um, I got this for lasagna and pastas and stuff because we're going into that time of year. Some, <laughs> so right next to the good cheese, I got some not real cheese so this was $3.99 which is a good deal if you need Velveeta because Velveeta at Kroger today was like $7.99 so this is half the price and to me it's it tastes the same I mean it's salty cheese product I want to make either, either some kind of chicken dip or venison dip so yeah I got that and I already have the uh what's the stuff like Rotel, but it's Aldi brand already that's been in my cupboard, so I'm going to use that. And another thing, because it's my birthday, <laughs> are coconut macaroons, um, the chocolate coconut macaroons. I do think they had one that didn't have chocolate, but um, when I buy treats, I like to buy things that I can't easily make on my own. I have tried to make macaroons, and mine just, they, they fell, I guess, like all the liquid came out, and they were like, they tasted good, but they were like coconut thins, like cookies. So yeah, coconut macaroons were $1.99. Yum. So yeah, there that is my few things I got from Walge Walgreens, Kroger, and Aldi. If you have any questions, please let me know below. Um, if you're new, welcome. I hope I wasn't too much of a mess for you. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Please ask me below. I always upload my receipts to Receipt Pal. Fetch Rewards and Receipt Hog. Um, there was those few Ibotta deals. No Checkout 51 today. Oh, and there was the um, Saving Star. So yeah, if you have any questions again, let me know below. And I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.